So, hello lovely people, I'm Michał Kaligrix from Tantra Movement, for those who don't know me yet. And today I will speak about uh, Yoni Massage, about Yoni Healing, what it's all about, uh, and so on. So, uh, I will give the two hours lecture, more or less, uh, about all these topics. Uh, so, uh, this lecture would be divided in few parts. Uh, so, first part uh, would be I will explain uh, about uh, what is the healing uh, yoni, what is the yoni massage all about, what is it for, uh, just to introduce you to the subject. Uh, then uh, the next part uh, I will speak uh, about the tantric yoni anatomy, so I will use uh, these uh, drawings uh, to show you the location of different uh, orgasmic points mainly. The points also what needs to be healed, the block, uh, mainly about the location. And then afterwards I will speak about the um, different points and I will explain you what they are uh, have, uh, what the characteristics they are, what uh, you can use, what emotions are they connected, what chakras are they connected, and uh, yes, what do you feel uh, by uh, stimulating them and so on. So uh, I will explain about each point from the most known point to the less known point, a little bit about them. And then um, the next part, I will explain about how we do the yoni massage so step by step i will explain you each step uh, how uh, do the strokes uh, what fingers you use uh, in which stroke uh, uh, all the details that uh, after uh, uh, watching this lecture you can perform the yoni massage afterwards so so uh, then uh, i will uh, explain you about uh, the, mainly the G-spot healing, but also uh, will it will refer to healing of all the points. Uh, so, uh, what is the healing about, uh, but how also to react on the healing, uh, from the receiver's perspective, from the woman's perspective, and how uh, to um, support the woman as a healer, as a uh, person who holds the space. So, uh, what the healing is about and how to uh, provide this and what uh, things you can expect and what things you can avoid uh, uh, and how to, in the best way to support the woman in the moments of healing them, in the moment of releasing the emotions and so on. So, uh, and then uh, towards the end I will uh, speak about uh, use it don't lose it method, the method what we use in the neotantric massage to bring the energy up uh, that uh, yes we can continue the massage for hours uh, and the woman or uh, in context of uh, men uh, receiving the neotantric massage they don't lose the energy and if there is no game over the massage can last for uh, three hours instead of uh, um, two minutes something. yes so um, okay so that's the plan so let's start. So um, when um, uh, usually the woman is coming for the tantric massage, uh, she's coming usually for uh, the uh, massage uh, with the intentions uh, to uh, block herself, to heal herself uh, uh, from the past traumas, uh, mm. uh, prejudices um, towards uh, the men, towards uh, the sexuality, towards penetration. Uh, they feel like oh, the life uh, is not uh, so good, uh, especially in this aspect, <coughs> and it can be improved. And uh, so that's the like 90% of the intentions of the women who are coming for the tantric massage. So. Um, uh, yes, with men it's a little bit different, they come for the experience uh, in most of the cases. Uh, so, yes, why the women uh, need uh, this healing? Uh, so one of the main cause uh, of, uh, that the woman is uh, blocked uh, in her sexuality, it's um, the unaware 
because nobody taught us about uh, how to make love properly. Uh, unaware, um, force, penetration, when the woman uh, was not ready for it. Uh, uh, she didn't get enough foreplay uh, and um, she was dry, uh, her yoni was uh, uh, closed, not open, and uh, this uh, force penetration caused the pain. And this, uh, in most of the cases of uh, our lives, uh, uh, it was uh, happening, uh, 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 it was repeating, uh, it was repeated many times. Uh, so um, the body, uh, especially the yoni, started to develop uh, so-called armor, the overprotection uh, uh, to not to kill the pain. So this armor is felt uh, in the yoni mainly uh, through over-exaggerated pain uh, that the woman feels uh, the, uh, this uh, very uh, sensitivity uh, in some spots uh, when she's touched, mainly in the spots uh, when uh, the uh, hurt happened, uh, so um, when she got hurt. Uh, most uh, of the cases it's a G-spot uh, uh, hold this trauma and uh, uh, or uh, so, so it's uh, felt as an over exaggerated pain or it's felt as a numbness uh, the woman doesn't feel uh, nothing she doesn't feel pain but she also doesn't feel pleasure in both cases the woman withdraw from the need to have the sexuality. For her it's an obligation, not uh, a pleasure anymore. So, yes, um, and this also just continued this uh, trauma actually, you know. So, uh, the healing uh, of the yoni is mainly about like the, the giving the woman enough uh, like foreplay, what the massage is like great foreplay, great preparation, opening the channels. Uh, the uh, neotantric massage is always uh, uh, <laughs> performed with the full body massage. Uh, basically, tantric massage of the yoni, it never goes straight to the yoni. Uh, it always gives the full body massage uh, uh, that's to open the channels, that the energy can flow easily. And uh, then, yes, uh, she's not straight uh, into the penetration, but it's very slowly from the outside parts uh, approached, uh, from the less exciting parts approached, builded up the trust and uh, uh, going uh, slowly. And only when she is fully ready, uh, like wet, open and inviting even, then um, yes, uh, the, uh, we start to do the massage. So one of the most, most, most important thing, uh, I will repeat it probably many times because it's essential, you don't push your finger in uh, when <laughs> the yoni okay. is not ready for it. Yes, uh, so uh, you really, uh, this is like the main thing what you have to learn at this workshop. Uh, that yes, the woman have to get enough foreplay, the her yoni have to be ready. So, uh, yes, when the woman uh, is approached when she's ready, this is like rebuilding the trust. So the healing is all about rebuilding the trust. That in the situation when she was uh, hurt, now uh, we create new situation. When she feel honored, she feel uh, that she got enough uh, time. Uh, she, uh, uh, the, the man was not pushy. Uh, horny uh, to get uh, his things done, but uh, he was patiently uh, giving her time and respected her wishes and uh, requests about uh, like the time and all the sens uh, sensuality, delicacy and so on and so on. So uh, um, the healing is to give this 180 uh, degrees different experience. And healing is like, yes, to find the spots sometimes would uh, have this over exaggerated pain and uh, uh, keep triggering them as much as the woman can handle it, 
but uh, without also the woman, uh, her mind pushing for the healing, but really like feeling good about everything what is happening and taking care for her yoni, yes? So it's rebuilding the trust also between the uh, not only uh, woman to the man, but also uh, b uh, rebuilding the trust between the yoni uh, towards uh, the mind what allow uh, the hurt to happen before. So now you are aware, always ask the man for enough foreplay, this will heal you also. So. Um, so uh, when the woman is triggered in this point what uh, needs to be healed and uh, usually the G-spot is the most uh, uh, healing point, uh, especially at the beginning, uh, she um, releases her emotions. She's triggered with this over-exaggerated pain and uh, she uh, this triggers very often the emotions and uh, uh, there is an emotional release and uh, the way uh, she release and uh, she feel fully trust that she can always stop the process if something is overwhelming this also uh, give her like a, a feeling that okay uh, yes uh, if someone is respecting my wishes if something goes too far, I can always uh, slow it down, uh, rise the pan to slow it down, or even to stop, uh, rise the pan uh, higher to stop. So, uh, uh, this, uh, that she can trust into the situation and uh, actually guide the situation fully on, that also uh, gives that her this healing uh, of entry building the trust uh, moment. And, uh, When um, she releases all the crying out, when the man is keep triggering her for basically her request uh, till she uh, rise the pa palm uh, and maybe ask for to slow him down, uh, this triggering of uh, and allowing this emotion to be released, uh, yes, it allows uh, to. Uh, let it go this emotion this emotion is frozen since uh, the hurt happened um, and uh, in the body and that's the blockage what uh, uh, caused this pain anytime when uh, she maybe uh, approached the intimacy maybe when uh, this point is uh, 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 touched and uh, by uh, um, going through uh, the triggering this pain in the way that she is fully contro in control and uh, with the trusted person to hold the space, to not push himself for the uh, horny moment, but really like it's there for her to, with all the love and uh, patience and uh, uh, all devotion and commitment to her, then uh, yes, uh, this. Uh, allow the woman to release all the trauma uh, and uh, let it go and in the same session the woman can uh, transform this uh, physical pain into emotional pain and then into the uh, emotional release and uh, then the same point what was very painful and not really approachable uh, it can transform in the most orgasmic point. That's what uh, happens with the G-spot thing. I will speak about it more. So, uh, l yes. Um, so that's more or less uh, what is the healing about. But yes, of course, uh, the healing uh, may happen also in all different ways. Uh, so uh, don't put any uh, goals. Uh, we don't put the goals. We put intentions. Uh, the healing can happen like it happens very often for the man as an expanding. Uh, in uh, love, growing in ecstasy, uh, the woman doesn't have to always have the release of the emotion. Uh, she uh, may have uh, uh, just uh, the healing as a uh, growing uh, in ecstasy. 
so uh, she can start to feel uh, her uh, different uh, orgasmic points activated, being activated. Uh, uh, being uh, like she can have this uh, uh, new types of orgasm, what are tantric orgasms, what you don't lose the energy. So, so, so all of this experience is like, uh, you know, nourish her chakras, uh, opening new horizons. Uh, uh, when uh, she feel uh, ecstasy uh, for hours, uh, like, or like um, something like this, then she uh, feel energized after. With the tantric orgasm, you don't lose the energy. So, so, so all of this, uh, yes, it gives her uh, empowering. Uh, this that she at least experiences, even maybe first time. This uh, it sets uh, her up for the rest of her life, uh, uh, especially if it's uh, connected with him. It's like wow, wow, wow. It's like uh, uh, you not only get uh, uh, remove the of the blockage, but you get the. Uh, beautiful ecstasy, a new way of ecstasy, what is energizing you. So that's also the healing, yes? It's another aspect of healing. Uh, yes, uh, healing can be expanding in love. But yes, uh, you are maybe first time health, like uh, for uh, three hours uh, uh, you receive the beautiful love, beautiful devotion from the man. And uh, yes, if you up till now uh, experience just like uh, uh, average seven minutes uh, penetration uh, and uh, without uh, not enough foreplay. This can be also beautiful healing uh, experience that uh, it shows you the possibilities what uh, the tantra tantric massage gives you. So yes, um, that's more or less uh, about the healing. Um, so. Uh, now I will explain you uh, all different points. Um, so uh, I will mainly use uh, these uh, two um, drawings. Uh, so yes, you can see also things uh, on this drawing. Um, uh, but yes, I usually mainly use this. Uh, so. Uh, so here is the yoni, like uh, if I will have yoni, uh, uh, it would be like this. So here is the anus, here is the belly side, uh, so here is the clitoris covered with the head. Uh, here are the outer lips, uh, what usually are um, naturally covered uh, with the hair. And uh, here are the inner lips flower, uh, and uh, here is the entrance of the yoni. And the inside of the yoni is there. So here is the urinary hall, um, so that's that drawing, um, and uh, uh, another drawing is um, uh, if uh, it's like cut through. So if I would have the yoni, it would be kind of like this. Um, so here is the anus, uh, here is the entrance of the yoni, and here is the inside of the yoni. So this... Uh, is that drawing yes and here is the clitoris uh, yes the urinary hole and here is the belly yeah so now you understand what those drawings are so um, now i'll explain you about each orgasmic point uh, uh, and each uh, like point what very often needs to be filled to feel this uh, orgasm uh, and so on and so on so uh, um, Yes, the most important, uh, most uh, 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 like known point, uh, not maybe most important, um, uh, I don't know about the importance. Uh, the most known point, uh, uh, it's the clitoris, of course. So the, most of the women uh, experience uh, only the clitoral orgasm. Uh, um, that's the most known orgasm, uh, like uh, the men uh, usually experience mainly only ejaculatory orgasm. Not um, many people know uh, that um, the woman uh, can experience at least 11 types of orgasms and the man can experience uh, at least 8 types of orgasms. And only clitoral orgasm and ejaculatory orgasm are the uh, peak orgasm uh, what you lose the energy and uh, you cannot continue. So, uh, 
Mm -hmm. the, all other orgasms are tantric orgasms, but uh, uh, the energy goes up and up and up, you don't lose the energy. They give you energy, they give you ecstasy, higher and higher and higher. So yes, that's what the end of tantra, you don't need to lose the energy, you can gain the energy, you can uh, uh, free yourself from running on desires and so. So yes, um, so. Uh, I will explain you about clitoris, yes? So, uh, the, uh, uh, we uh, avoid the clitoral orgasm, uh, as I said, to not to lose the energy, but don't mistake me, uh, like we use a lot of clitoral stimulation. Clitoris is the most uh, efficient way to uh, create very quickly excitement in women, and we work with the excitement with feeling. Uh, as more there is excitement, as more sexual energy there is, it's easier for the woman to heal, to go through the pain. So this is like uh, in orgasmic birth, uh, uh, maybe some of you heard, like uh, the woman can give the birth and uh, guided by the special techniques, uh, uh, special uh, orgasmic birth uh, midwife, um, doulas, uh, to give the birth and having in the same time, maybe some very often supported by her uh, partner, lover, uh, father, uh, with the kisses, with the ecstasy, uh, and uh, she can give the uh, delivery of the child uh, in the way that she can have uh, even sometimes the best ecstatic experience during, uh, yes, going through the pain, but still, uh, because there is a lot of ecstasy, it helps her to go through the pain. And for, very often for those women who experience it, for them it's one of the most beautiful day, not one of the most challenging uh, experience what, uh, uh, for the most of the women is the giving the birth to the child. So yes, uh, if you ever heard about this uh, and you plan to be a um, mother, uh, parents, uh, yes, go for it. I will highly recommend. It's a good start for the new family to have ecstasy instead of, uh, yes, some trauma or a lot of pain and challenge uh, in the hospital circumstances. So, uh, yes, with the... Um, so, so, so uh, that's why we use uh, the clitoris a lot to create a lot of ecstasy. So uh, when the woman goes through the pain, that uh, we can uh, create this ecstasy, she can focus on ecstasy, and with ecstasy, it's much easier for her to go through that pain, to go through these emotional releases, and so on, and so on, and so on. So this is, uh, yeah, uh, very helpful. So basically, we uh, avoid the clitoral orgasm, but we use the clitoral stimulation quite a lot. In the part when we would go for the G-spot healing, uh, basically 90% of the massage is with the uh, stimulating the clitoral uh, with the clitoral stimulation. Uh, in the same time, we uh, massage the G-spot. And only in, when the woman rides the palm uh, to slow down, because she's coming to the peak, uh, the point of no return, when she will lose the energy, when she will have clitoral orgasm, then yes, uh, she rides the palm. And uh, yes, we don't want to have game over, because with the game over, we don't have this support of ecstasy anymore. Uh, the energy is down, so uh, all the uh, healing is down. So, so, so uh, yes, we. Uh, have agreement with the woman that whenever she's coming to the point of no return she is uh, rising the palm to slow down or to stop immediately and then we can stop the clitoral stimulation only for that moment we stop the clitoral stimulation i will tell you about it all when we uh, speak uh, parts bit by bit how we do it so about clitoris uh, this is the most uh, sensitive part of the human body. Uh, on this small pearl there is uh, 400,000 uh, nerve endings. Uh, so uh, to compare, uh, on the head of the lingam there is uh, only half of it. Uh, so every man knows how sensitive is the head of the lingam. Yes, 
this all is to point out to you that always, always, especially when you don't know this clitoris, approach uh, the pearl very gentle, very delicate. Have enough uh, coconut oil to uh, not make it rough, to make it nice and smooth for her. Especially some women, uh, uh, especially when uh, they are very excited already, they make they can even may uh, like very much the hard rough clitoral stimulation but you have to get to know it uh, yes and also very often they have to be already fully excited to uh, feel it in that way so um, if you're one of them uh, you can always tell to the guy hey this is how it works with me yes so um, Yes, um, uh, another thing about the, yes, we're avoiding the clitoral organs, uh, so, but, uh, yes, uh, we have to say also, uh, we do sometimes exception. 20% um, of the female population, so every uh, one of the fifth women, they never experience any organs or the experience is very rare so uh, I feel like uh, in Copangan uh, the statistics are much better but still the percentage is very high so if you one of those women allow yourself to experience to learn how to experience the clitoral organs uh, if it happens go for it enjoy it fully and uh, yes but remember <laughs> Uh, if you learn how to do it, how to achieve it, uh, you don't have problem with it anymore. Uh, yes, don't stay in the kindergarten of the orgasm. Go to the university of the orgasm, so the higher orgasm, tantric orgasm, when you don't lose them, uh, and you can feel much more ecstasy there. So, yes, um, the other thing about the clitoris is. Um, Yes, uh, that uh, this um, um, pearl is just a small part of the clitoris. A bigger part of the clitoris is um, actually uh, under, going under the flesh and is spreading uh, on both sides uh, of the entrance. So basically, uh, between the outer lips and the inner lips when you massage these long strokes what i'm gonna teach you later yes it's also you massaging the other parts of the clitoris so so uh, on the internet um, uh, you can see already uh, quite a lot even you can see some sculptures somewhere uh, drawings uh, artistic drawings of uh, like uh, the uh, uh, recently uh, or uh, maybe thousand years uh, uh, before to Tantra, but recently scientifically uh, discovered that the clitoris is much bigger. So it goes uh, on two sides of the um, entrance. Uh, so uh, uh, yes, you can see this drawing, uh, this red thing, uh, it's also showing it um, a bit more uh, artistic part of... So only this part is this small pair. So, so bigger parts of the uh, clitoris is uh, under the flesh between the inner lips outer lips uh, and yes uh, massaging it can give uh, very nice ex new ways of feeling ecstasy for the woman so that's uh, about the clitoris mm -hmm. so Another uh, next um, most known point uh, is of course the G-spot. So, uh, aha, I skipped one part, uh, so I will go for it. So uh, I explain you about the clitoris, everything, yes, about the location and so. So now I will tell you about the location of other points, and I, and then I will explain uh, uh, the. Uh, uh, details how I explain about the clitoris yes so the G-spot it's um, 
very uh, close to the entrance and the G-spot uh, only and the end point uh, massaging the cervix have a different surface than the other part of the uh, yoni. Uh, of the, so the other points you don't recognize by the feeling, uh, by the uh, different structure or something different, uh, only by the woman's reaction. Only the G-spot and the end point uh, have uh, different um, uh, surface, uh, so you can recognize it by touch. So uh, the G-spot is very close to the entrance, so uh, and the end point is very deep. It's uh, 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 almost at the bottom of the yoni. Uh, it happens uh, by some women; uh, it can be so deep that uh, you maybe not be able to reach uh, the end point, the cervix, uh, with your uh, fingers, yes? So uh, that's how you can differentiate them. Uh, the G-spot also, yes, uh, it feels, uh, it's like two centimeters, three centimeters uh, on the entrance, on the belly side. Um, um, so if you curve your finger and half of your finger should uh, uh, reach uh, to the G-spot. So if the woman is facing me uh, and I curve the finger upward towards her belly, that I should reach her uh, if I put half of the finger. Uh, but yes, you can uh, recognize it uh, by the surface. So all the surface of the uh, all yoni, beside of the G-spot and the end point, it's um, smooth, it's flashy, it's uh, slimy, nothing special there. The G-spot, it has different surface than this. So um, it, sometimes it can feel like a bottom, sometimes it may feel like a sponge, sometimes it can feel like a nut, sometimes it can feel um, like uh, the wound, uh, sometimes uh, like a net, so so it has different surface. It's a bit rough surface, and uh, yes, it's close to the entrance. The end point, it's uh, very deep in the entrance, and uh, surface you can feel it uh, as a uh, like if you make a fist like this, uh, and you. So guys, I like that you sit up, uh, especially the guys. It's lecture for you and you're almost sleeping and lying, you know, like you don't look what I'm talking about. So yes, I like you sit up because lying position, it doesn't support the attention. So so, so okay. really, I like that you get best out of it, yes? So um, it doesn't help me also, like, yes, uh, <laughs> with this. So, um, um, Yes, the uh, end point feels like a fist, if you make fist and if you uh, touch it, it actually feels like this ring here. If uh, it's uh, blocked, uh, you uh, feel it's closed and it's blocked, it's like how you make uh, fist hard, you can feel also the hard, uh, uh, this ring hard and tight. And uh, if it's uh, not blocked, uh, it's open and it's soft. Uh, you can almost uh, put the finger in, like, it's, please never do it, uh, but yes, you can feel that it's open, yes? So, um, yes, it's uh, also like sticking out a little bit, how you can see on this drawing, towards the entrance, uh, it's uh, very much on the bottom of the uh, yoni and it's like sticking backwards towards the entrance, yes? So that's how it feels. This uh, hardness and closeness also vary from the uh, woman's menstrual cycle. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, when she's ovulating, she's of course more open and so. But yes, if it's blocked uh, like uh, fully, it's, it's traumatized, uh, then it's blocked all the time. So uh, yes. Uh, I will not speak so much about endpoint details uh, like uh, uh, I said about the clitoris, but uh, yes, so I will sell now. 
So uh, whenever you hear uh, maybe someone from your family or some of your friends, uh, uh, a couple who wants to have a baby and they try very hard but they do not succeed, uh, sending them to professional uh, yoni masseur to, with the intention of deblocking the uh, cervix, the endpoint, uh, it may uh, make a miracle. So uh, yes. Uh, uh, it can open uh, the block and in that way the uh, semen can enter in uh, to the ovaries and so on and so on. So this is um, uh, so about the end point, then you have the A point. Uh, so A point you cannot really find by the surface, by the tuck. Uh, it has uh, uh, the same surface of uh, the rest of the yoni. So you can know uh, only by, uh, I'm telling you now, the A point is far uh, behind the G spot. So it's at the bottom of the yoni, uh, but on the same side. So, so if you go uh, behind the G spot, and you also curve your fingers towards the belly, towards uh, the uh, so-called uh, hour 12, then uh, uh, yes, you can recognize the A point, you can find the A point by the woman's reaction. Uh, if uh, the point needs to be healed, then it would be over-exaggerated pain, some irritation uh, by your touch, or if it's uh, uh, already uh, healed and activated, she may feel a uh, great ecstasy there, uh, so she may like very much the touch. Um, and for the E point, it's opposite. So you have to uh, twist your fingers uh, 180 degrees. When you are in the yoni, you do everything slowly. You don't twist like this. You do it slowly, with delicacy. You don't know how those points will react if you want to... Uh, so for the E point, uh, you have to twist 180 degrees and press, m make a curve of your fingers towards uh, her back, towards her uh, um, uh, anal part. You know, like so, so, so. By pressing the A point, you can also uh, even indirectly stimulate the parts in her anal. Uh, so, um, again, this, the same with the point A. Uh, you can find it by, only by her reaction, either over exaggerated pain or either feeling the great ecstasy. Then we have a little point, uh, the U point, uh, uh, what is between the clitoris and the urinary hole. And um, um, it's, yes, uh, together uh, with the G spot orgasm uh, can create so-called female ejaculation. So uh, I will tell you about all these details later. Now I just was speaking more or less about the location. Yes, so this is uh, about the location of all different points, uh, orgasmic points. So yes, uh, now I will go uh, to explain you in the details I did uh, with the clitoris already. Now I will explain about the next famous orgasmic point, the G-spot. So the reason uh, why uh, there is big confusion about the G-spot, uh, the women sometimes uh, they uh, feel that uh, they don't have it. Uh, there is also big uh, patriarchal uh, scientific uh, uh, discussion about oh it exists or it doesn't exist. Um, so uh, it has to do with uh, the fact that the woman to feel any uh, orgasmic point, uh, even if it's healed, very often uh, it needs uh, those points to be activated. And for that, very often the woman have to be on high arousal, close to the point of no return, for at least 20 or even 30 minutes. Seven minutes average penetration doesn't give this a chance. So that's where the uh, yoni massage 
it can be great if you still didn't master yourself to maintain at least this 30 minutes uh, for a woman uh, that she needs then you know like yes you can still uh, give it to her with the uh, yoni massage so uh, yes uh, that's uh, where it's coming uh, from uh, this confusion uh, maybe I will tell you a little story uh, from my own experience, I'm not the woman, but uh, the men have the same issue uh, here um, about my perineum orgasm. Uh, so perineum is one of the male ecstatic points. It's also a woman ecstatic points, but not, uh, very rarely used uh, because it's much smaller by the woman and women have so many ecstatic points uh, uh, inside of her yoni. The men, uh, doesn't so um, the uh, for men it's one of the most like uh, approachable easy and actually uh, getting mo most popular because of this uh, uh, po orgasmic point uh, it's uh, it, the is the muscle between the testicles and the anus uh, and uh, uh, yes uh, by the man it's quite big uh, uh, especially when the man uh, feels erection uh, you can feel it's like kind of prolongation of his lingam and uh, yes um, I read in these books tantric books like that uh, yes the man can have uh, wow 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 perineum orgasm uh, massage and this uh, perineum orgasm uh, basically and this is like this tantric orgasm uh, never-ending orgasm it's like so I read in these books tantric books about it and I tried and you know what? Uh, I, I I try I, I try and I felt like you know I'm massaging now my arm. No wow wow wow. Just okay. I can massage it very nice, you know, like how I like it. But no extra like no uh, wow wow wow. You know. So I was wondering, is it something wrong with me, or is it something wrong with these books? You know. So. The same what the woman feels about the G-spot sometimes, probably. I can relate now to it, yes? So, um, but one day, um, when um, I was uh, very tired uh, and uh, just finished my uh, previous work uh, on the bicycle taxi, uh, yes, I had just one hour sleeping, uh, very tired after work and so like and, uh, I, before I supposed to give some tantric workshops on some festival and yes I uh, I um, have choice if I go to sleep I will wake up much more tired and uh, it would be not nice <laughs> uh, so I did what I was doing it uh, before I was masturbating to fall to sleep to lose the energy but uh, uh, when I discovered Tantra, I was doing it to energize myself. So instead of going to sleep uh, and uh, being more tired afterwards, I uh, choose to energize myself for this one hour and I was self-pleasuring myself. And then, you know, like I uh, was, uh, in, when I was on high arousal, I start to play with my Pyrenees. And wow, I feel like this discovery uh, like was one of the best one in my life like i felt such a nice ecstasy and i didn't have to be careful to lose uh, the energy like i had to be careful with normal stim stimulation with the ejaculatory orgasm uh, and uh, yes it was just going on and on like one wave and then you know i feel like wow wow that was amazing and then it comes another wave much higher more amazing and more amazing i was like so ecstatic so energized afterwards i felt much better probably than uh, uh, when Columb uh, discovered the america by the way he didn't <laughs> discover it uh, the natives were there before <laughs> Uh, but uh, yes, uh, I discovered something about my body for the rest of my life, you know, for me it was like, wow! Uh, it was kind of first time the uh, tantric orgasm without um, use it, don't lose it method, not this wave orgasm where you avoid the ejaculation and you go the same high, 
But this time it was like, okay, this one was, you don't need to use it, don't lose it. It just go higher and higher and higher and you don't lose the energy. So that was like, wow, discovery. I had nice, uh, fresh story at the workshop, at the festival to say. Uh, it was, uh, it's, now it's not so fresh anymore, uh, but uh, it's uh, still uh, actual, so that's why I'm saying it. So yes, tomorrow at the Lingam Day, you, uh, I wish uh, you may experience it. Uh, yes, uh, I will uh, guide you how to go there uh, for the women. Uh, so yes. Uh, okay. So um, yes. Uh, then. Um, uh, so the G-spot, the G-spot is the most healing point uh, in the uh, human body. Most of the traumas, uh, especially connected with the sexuality, uh, is uh, go, uh, frozen there. Like uh, all the past memories, all the sometimes even things like broken heart relationship that you still uh, um, love someone, but you cannot let go and you feel very nostalgic, very sad. You know, like it's quite be, it could be released uh, by giving the healing the, of the G spot. Uh, all the like uh, a lot of uh, things like to do, even uh, uh, so hard things to do with the abuse and so. Mainly all of this is uh, in the G spot. Uh, all this unaware, you don't even know why your sexuality is blocked, but maybe it's this unaware. Uh, penetrations when you was not ready for it so this uh, can be the reason and all of this trauma all these uh, blockages all these uh, past memories uh, mainly like 90 percent is stored in the gispo uh, of course it can be in other points but like this is uh, why we also uh, at this class uh, we go uh, for healing the gispo today so yes um, the, um, like uh, for the woman to experience uh, healing of the gist fault it's like uh, the uh, one of the best day especially if it's followed by uh, expanding love growing in ecstasy feeling the g spot orgasm in the same session the woman say that for them it's like being newborn like uh, it's starting new life uh, uh, I like very oft, uh, 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 very nice, uh, I uh, repeat it uh, very often, this uh, one explanation of one woman, that for her it was not just uh, removing the bars of the cage of the jail what she was locked in, uh, not only uh, removing all the luggage what, she, uh, her, uh, what was holding her back from enjoying life, but it's, it was even more, it was going out from this cage and she received extra bonus. She received the wings of passion, wings of ecstasy, what she can fly on. So she not only removed the pain, the re emotional release, what was holding her back, but she even got something extra, this orgasmic new feelings. Uh, that's the one uh, what she compared to the wings of passion, wings of ecstasy, what was like really, uh, yes, uh, giving her such a boost of energy, then yes, it's uh, the life, it becomes, uh, have another uh, value. So, so when you have this tantric orgasm, tantric boost of energy, uh, tantric ecstasy, you make love for hours, and then you feel energized. Yes, it's uh, it's a uh, much better than you know doing it from obligation and uh, feeling pain afterwards and so on and so on. So yes, that's um, what um, may happen with the G spot. So um, yes, uh, the G spot uh, connected with the uh, massaging the U point can give the woman uh, so called. Uh, uh, female ejaculation and female ejaculation have common uh, with the um, ma uh, male ejaculation only word and only maybe the action of the liquid uh, going out from the body yes 
but uh, uh, for the woman to experience the female ejaculation is a great thing squirting is a great thing like uh, especially with the uh, healing aspect uh, it's one of the intention to give the woman uh, the female ejaculation uh, so it's one of the intention of uh, the uh, yoni massage is to give her that experience uh, not only once but maybe few times even sometimes uh, i uh, experienced once uh, giving the woman a session and she experienced uh, six uh, female ejaculations in one session it's great a, uh, a lot of uh, healing a lot of emotions this is like liquid the our tears are also liquid somehow it's all connected you know like that uh, it's uh, like the second chakra emotional chakra it's all healing like so 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 uh, it's transformative emotional release you know like so it's a water so yes liquid water uh, so uh, yes uh, for the woman to uh, very often it comes uh, together with the emotional release this emotional release can be challenging yes if you cry for half an hour it can be challenging it can be also uh, consuming uh, your energy uh, but yes it's good for you it's uh, it's for good you release as more you release you may have uh, the benefits afterwards and so on and so on so uh, yes go for it very often the women stop it for very silly reason i would say uh, they don't want to uh, pee uh, on the sheet they don't want to pee on the mattress they don't want to pee in front of the men they are ashamed about that it feels for them like a peeing but believe me it's a female ejaculation it's um, not possible that you suddenly want to pee when you are on high arousal if it happens to you remember this this is very important in your life because it may happen during the love making especially if you do it for longer time that when you feel you want to pee on the high arousal suddenly it means it's female ejaculation just let it out it would be good for you if you have to clean the sheet afterwards uh, you will not regret it uh, go for it you will be very happy about that so never block it just push it out as you will do with the uh, uh, pushing out the pee so remember all this uh, yes um, so this is the one of the most most common most common uh, female ejaculation right so yes um, uh, so that's about the g-spot uh, about the end point it's like basically massaging the cervix i said already a few things to what i wanted to say before the a point if nothing so much to say the e point i can only say that uh, it's connected to the uh, <coughs> emotion of fear yeah the g-spot is uh, connected to the heart chakra and very often uh, the emotion uh, in uh, i would say 85 percent is connected with the crying with the um, sadness <coughs> the uh, big percentage also is uh, the anger so release of the anger it happens sometimes also um, the end point is connected uh, with the um, crown chakra but also uh, with the heart chakra um, yes uh, maybe the main strokes uh, 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 like it's like ma uh, like most efficient way most, that's why most popular way of healing of the g-spot is uh, the intensive like fire uh, strokes like with the cam cam movement uh, uh, on the G-spot, uh, quite hard stimulation, twice, uh, two strokes per second. Um, then uh, the <coughs> end point, the most popular way of uh, healing the uh, end point is like the hammering movement, also like fire energy, uh, twice per second, uh, quite hard, uh, hitting it basically. Uh, that's why very often the women, uh, when they experience the deep penetration, they light it and they ask uh, fuck me harder stronger deeper 
because that's uh, what they experience it, uh, and that's what they go for it. So uh, <coughs> this is the most popular way to stimulate those points uh, uh, and heal them. Uh, so yes, that's that's about the points uh, and uh, so. I will explain you uh, in the next uh, chapter how exactly step by step we do the uh, yoni massage and uh, uh, also at the end I will explain uh, about the um, how to react on the healing and uh, then you can ask the questions and I hope I will answer uh, even during this lecture uh, those questions maybe before you ask. So I, did, I wish until we go to swim to have a bit refreshment uh, because uh, I'm uh, my voice and I'm ready. So we can. thank you. Thank you. So we, let's have like uh, ten minutes. You know, we don't go for like very like uh, it's just break to ref refresh more than. Uh,